You are highly welcome in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, my life is blessed. It is a good thing to be in the presence of the Lord. It is a good decision to visit the house of God. Coming to God means that you know who your creator is. You know who made you. God made you in his own image, in his own likeness, for you to be like him. God is perfect. The spirit of God that is in you, it is the spirit of perfection. That spirit of perfection is what is moving you, that is pushing you to come to the house of God. In the house of God, the spirits of God direct you to worship God and serve God. And the spirit of serving God, worshiping God, serving God, gives you the spirits of creativity creativity when you come to the house of God God is educating you with his word and when you are absorbing the word of God in you you are initiating your life in the power of God You are initiating yourself in the power of God. Because the word of God gives you power to make life. How? You are hearing what you are supposed to know about your life. Many things you don't know. When you come to the house of God, you will know it. You you did not come to hear those things, but as you are worshiping God, serving God, God will use his servant to let you know one or two things that you don't know about your life that will help you to live your life. So the Spirit of God gives you a better life. Somebody said, I need a better life. We see the book of St. John chapter 1 3 verse 16 St. John chapter 3 verse 16 we read for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life Somebody say, I will claim my losses. Say, I will claim my losses. For God so loved you. God loves you. That is why he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus. He said, whosoever that believed that believes in him God loves you if you believe in God you will reclaim all your losses whosoever that believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life the love of God towards your life if you can believe in the love that God loves you you will 
will not die. You will not perish. But you will reclaim all your losses. Believing in him, the son of God is believing in his representatives. Who are they? The prophets, the servants of God that are ministering to you, teaching you the word of God. If you are believing in the servants of God, you are not believing in them, but you are believing in the word they are teaching you. I say the word educates your life. It gives you hope. To fight what is fighting you. It, is, it gives you strength and energy to make life, to become productive, to create things. There are many things in you that you have not seen. There are many things God has imparted in your life that you don't know. But through the gospel, the word of God, you can know them and practice them. When you practice them, you become successful. So the good things in your life, if you can believe in the word of God, you will see them happening in your life. And those things that you have lost the happiness you lost in marriage when you believe in God you will reclaim it you are believing to amend your ways when when two persons are quarreling the, 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 the two persons each one of them will claim right that is this one that is wrong. I mean husband and wife or in relationship when you are quarreling, in all your mind will tell you that you are right. He is wrong. And he would say that he is right and she is wrong. But not knowing that you are wrong in your own way, she is wrong in her own way, and when both of you believe in God, you can amend things. You can share understandings. You can forgive each other. You can put things in order. And the marriage will still work with happiness. So the word of God you believe in will correct your mistake and tell you that you are wrong. And this is what you should do. Then you will seek the face of your partner or your spouse so that things will work out for good. So you believing in God, believing will make you to amend your ways. Because you are hearing the truth. The truth will make you to have some corrections to your mistakes so that things will become normal again. That is reclaiming of the joy of the marriage or the joy of the relationship you have lost. Some people will refuse to believe when they hear the gospel, when they are in the church hearing, when they hear through air, Wherever they are, they refuse to hear because 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 say that the God of this world has blinded their mind. Lest they see the truth. Lest they see the glory gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The light can never shine in their lives because they don't believe. If you are coming to the church or house of God 
and you refuse to believe the word of God, you believe in what they say. That is called hearsay. Whatever they are saying. That means that that God of this world, which is devil, devil is a man. You cannot see devil. But men are devil. People, you see, misbehaving, they are the devil that are corrupting people. You refuse to believe what the word of God is saying, what God is telling you through his servant. But you believe in what the word believes, what the word is doing. They tell you that church is fake. That men of God are scammers. Do not listen to them. Do not believe. The men of God, the servants of God, you believe. You can never experience the glorious gospel in Christ Jesus Christ. The light of God. You cannot reclaim whatever you have lost. You live like them. You move like them. Believing in the teachings of the servants of God, which is the word of God, is the love that the Lord has showed us. This is the way out to our problems. This is the way of reclaiming our loss. The happiness you have lost, if you believe, you can reclaim them. You can reclaim your good hearts. That you are spending money every time for the disease, but you cannot have any good results. God is the healer. He's the only one that can heal you by believing in his word. If you believe your business will grow, because every tactics you're supposed to use to grow that business is in the house of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Do not trouble. In my father's house, there are many mansions. There are many ideas. There are many informations that you use to build up your life. You have many, hearing many information. You are hearing many ideas that you apply in your daily life, in your business, in your career. The joy you will find in your children doing well will give you everlasting life. Talking about everlasting life, you will start it here on earth. The joy in you gives you life, long life, peaceful life. When you see your business growing, you are happy. When you see your children doing well, when they are obedient, when they are making well in academies, when they grow to become somebody, reasonable people, the joy is the everlasting life in you. Whatever you are doing, as you are reclaiming all that you have lost, God will fill your hearts with joy, with peace. You see yourself rejoicing. Good things, good things are in the presence of God. Good things, you can find it in the house of God. Good things comes from God. But what you need is to calm down and wait upon the Lord. Every good thing you need, the good things you are lacking, comes from God. But the problem is can you wait on the Lord? Can you believe him? Can you wait on the Lord? You believe God and take direction from God. You will see yourself making life. You will see yourself making life. Progressing in business. 
progressing in your career, you see your heart changing for, a, for betterment. You are, whatever you are lacking, whatever you have lost, believe in the word of God. You must surely reclaim them one after the other. You will reclaim them one after the other. So God is releasing his blessings upon your life. That whatsoever you have lost, you shall have them back. You shall reclaim them. Your body system that is troubling you, Father will heal your diseases. You will reclaim your house. You will reclaim the joy in your marriage. You will reclaim the joy in your business. Your business will grow. God will give you ideas to build up your business. You shall make it. The joy you lack in the academies, you shall reclaim it. You shall reclaim it. Whatever your heart desire, God will bring it to you. God will provide your needs. He will provide your needs. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Celebrate.